Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Create Your Future. And in today's video, we are going to talk about victim mentality. Just before we get started, I do want to remind you that we are still doing a giveaway. Once we reach 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away some free coaching sessions. Um, all of the information on how to enter that giveaway will be in the description box below. So let's get to the video. Um, I was inspired to kind of make this video because of one of my clients. She knows who she is. Um, we have been working together for several months now and she's awesome. She's doing a great job. She is one of those people who really listens to what I have to say. She implements those things and puts them into, you know, process and she gets results. The issue here is she gets results, but she hasn't been able to sustain those results and get consistent results. And we really dug deep here and, and we got into what the actual issue was. And it really just comes down to being a victim, being a victim of your circumstances, being a victim, you know, um, putting other people as if they have any control or acting as if people outside of you have any say or any free will or any bearing on what's going on in your life. So as we all know, you are the one creating everything in your reality. So whatever you assume to be true about yourself, about relationships, about money, about friends, about every single thing in your life, everything that you have a relationship with or to, you are creating it. Whatever's happening in those areas, you are creating it. It's not based off of anyone else around you. It's all within you. You are the only one. You're the only person with any control or any say. And everyone else outside of you is not doing anything. They're playing a character in your movie or your book or whatever it is. They are playing a character based off of how you see them, how you assume they are, who you assume they are, um, what story you've been given to them, um, you know, what you assume to be true with relationships in general, what you assume to be true about yourself and the list goes on and on. But here's the thing about this. So when it comes to manifesting, we talk about techniques all the time and we talk about, um, you know, the fact that your dominant thoughts are what create and what you assume about the thing that you're manifesting is what will be. So for instance, let's say you are manifesting money. You want more money. You start telling yourself things like, Money is so easy for me to make. I make tons of money. I've always had lots of money. Um, you know, you come up with affirmations or assumptions about that that thing that you're trying to manifest. And that's great. And it and it works, absolutely. But if you are, how should I say this? Not stepping into your power when it comes to this, and you are taking what you see in the 3D as any sort of evidence as to what you've done so far, the effort that you've put forth so far, and you're using it as evidence, proof, that is not the right way to go about this. And when I say being a victim, it's the way that we've been brought up. It's the way that we've lived our life. This is this is how everybody lives, you know, until they find out about consciously creating. We always assume that people outside of us are just, you know, just difficult to um, deal with, or they're just kind of really stubborn, or they've always been this way. They're always mean. So when it comes to money, you know, well, I've always had a difficult time making money. Um, I know that you have to work really hard to make money. Okay, well, we want to change those assumptions, right? 
So changing the assumptions is great. Telling yourself it's always been easy for me to make money. Um, money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Whatever you want to say. Perfect. Great. But it goes one step further to where you're looking out in the 3D and you're saying, okay, I've been doing these affirmations. I've been having inner conversations. I've been scripting. I've been visualizing. And it's really not working. Like, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing movement. This is kind of hard. It's taking a lot of effort. Um, you know, I'm just not that good at manifesting. No, 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 guys, no. <laughs> By doing that, all you're doing is affirming that you're not good at manifesting, that it's always been hard for you to make money, that you have to work really hard to make money. Like when you go and revert back to those old beliefs, you are literally affirming that. You're affirming that that's what's true for you. So your subconscious, because that's your dominant belief right now, it's so easy for it to go back to that and say, oh, yep, that's true. That's true. Because what happens is when you are trying to change a belief about something, so we'll stick with money here. When you're trying to change a belief about money and we decide to say money is so easy for me to make, I make thousands and thousands of dollars a week, whatever you guys want to say. When you are changing that assumption, you have to realize that your ego, if you want to call it that, your conscious mind is going to try to fight that. It does. It just does. Because your ego wants to keep you in your comfort zone, no matter what that is. Okay? That doesn't mean you enjoy it. That doesn't mean it's comfortable to you. But on a more basic level, when, when your ego is involved, it does want to keep you in your comfort zone. And it will literally seek out evidence and circumstances in your 3D to prove to you that that new thought you're trying to, you know, create that new assumption that you're trying to create as a belief. It's not true. It's going to show you things to try to prove to you that it's not the truth. So that's why when you guys ask me like, okay, well, I'm sitting here saying, money is so easy for me to make. I make thousands of dollars every week. Immediately, I'm having this little voice in my head telling me, that's not true. You're lying. Nope. This is ridiculous. Like, what are you doing? That's normal, guys. That's normal. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work. It doesn't mean that you just give up. It means, hey, guess what? This has been your dominant belief for so long that you have to repeat this over and over again and cont continue on persisting in this whatever technique you're using to eventually create a new belief. And this will, you know, time after time after time that you're doing these techniques, you are slowly and slowly chipping away at that old belief. But during this time, that's still your dominant belief. That's still what you've been holding on to for so long. And you have to change that. So be patient in this process, guys, and don't be a victim here. Don't be a victim. We are not victims to our reality. We're not victims to our circumstances. We are 100% God. We are God, period. And if you know that you're God, you will not be sitting here saying, okay, yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. I know the law. I understand. But you guys, you don't understand. My boss will never give me a raise. My boss has always been very difficult. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why are you doing that? You know that your boss has only been difficult because that's what you've observed and what you've decided to accept. We don't do that. We don't accept things that we don't want. We don't accept things that don't feel good to us. We're done doing that. So instead you say, of course I'm going to get a raise. It's so like, it's, it's a no brainer. My boss loves me. My boss is so easygoing. She thinks the world of me. She, she's told me so many times that she's so lucky to have me. Like you guys have to change the story and I don't care what it takes. I don't care what you have to do to do that for yourself. It's, it's not even really the story so much that matters. It's getting rid of that old story that has not been serving you up to this point. So if you want more money and you want it to come from your job, you start 
focusing on that and really look and see what you're so used to saying, what, what things you're used to like falling back on for the reason for things. And I'm going to say this to you guys, and please don't take it the wrong way, but there's truly nobody to blame but yourself. There's nobody to blame but you. And I understand that feels a little bit intimidating, but at the same time, it's, it's truly freeing and liberating because if you're the only one to blame, that means you're the only one that can change this thing. That means you don't have to rely on other people outside of you to get what you want. You don't have to be hoping for something to happen. You don't have to be wondering if something's gonna happen. You know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are going to have this thing because you are putting in the work, you are changing your beliefs, you are, are shifting your focus, and it doesn't matter what anybody else outside of you is doing, you're still gonna get what you want. Like, that's amazing. That's amazing, guys. Be empowered by this. Be grateful for this. Be liberated. Like I said, like, this is amazing. We are the only ones who have any say. We are the only ones who have any control or any power. So let's step into our power. Let's step into our power and, and take our power back and say, you know what? I do make this amount of money. I don't care what anybody else says. And whatever I see in the 3D, I'm rejecting it until it's exactly what I want. Until my manifestation is here and it's solidified and it's consistent, I am not going to stop. I am going to continue to put my focus where it needs to go, in the wish fulfilled, in, you know, embodying the state of this person, um, whatever you want to call it, it truly doesn't matter. You are embodying the state of the wish fulfilled. That's exactly what you're doing. So if you affirm all day, you're doing that to embody the state of the wish fulfilled. If you do inner conversations, you're doing that to embody the state of the wish fulfilled. Okay. So when you guys really want to go to that place where it's like, yeah, but yeah, but this, yeah, but that it's always been this way. It's been this way. It's been that way. Stop. Really think about it and realize like, it's only me. It's only me. And yes, I know you guys will say, yeah, I know. I know this is me. I know I created this. Like, I can't even tell you how many times it'll be like with a client. I know I created this, but, and then they'll go on to tell me something where it's still trying to put the blame onto somebody else or something else outside of them. And like, when I say blame, you guys don't have to beat yourself self up. Like, I'm not saying that in any way. Please don't do that. And I've, I, every single person that's ever worked with me knows I am very uh, passionate, if you want to call it, about being very gentle with yourself, forgiving yourself, understanding that you weren't creating this on purpose. You're learning every single day. You're getting stronger every single day. You're becoming more and more aware of who you are as God of your reality every single day. So when you realize that, you know, maybe your thoughts weren't in the place they needed to be for the day, it's okay. It's okay. This is a process. It takes everybody different times. It takes everybody different things, you know, um, to, excuse me, it takes everybody going through different things throughout this process to have it click for them. So please like don't compare yourselves to other people. But at the end of the day, you just need to know, okay, I am responsible for this. I take responsibility for this and I still love myself. I love who I am and I'm going to forgive myself and move on. And you know what? I'm so grateful because I know that I have the power to change this and I have the power to get exactly what I want. So that's exactly what I want you guys to do. Anytime you notice yourself saying something like, yeah, 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 I know I create, but I know that this was me, but I know this was a reflection of what I be must believe, but like no more buts, stop, let's stop that. No more wondering, no more trying to figure out what something means because nothing means anything unless you decide it does. So if you decide something means something negative to you, 
assume something different. Assume something different. Change it. We don't have to be stuck with anything. We don't have to accept anything. We don't have to, we truly don't have to do anything that we don't want to do. So stop allowing circumstances in the 3D to put you back into that victim mindset over and over again. It's like, you'll get really, really good. You'll, you'll do a really good job. You're like really on top of things. You're going through your whole routine and something happens in the 3D or maybe it's taking longer than you'd expected. And you start to step away from your power and you start to say things like, this is really hard for me. Manifesting's hard. You know, I, I think I'm the only one who hasn't been able to manifest anything. Or I can manifest little things, but I can never manifest the big things. When you say this, you are making that true. You are affirming that to be true. So think really closely about what you're saying when you're, when you're kind of shifting the blame and, you know, basically putting out a statement that's saying something that you wouldn't want. You don't want to be bad at manifesting. You don't want manifesting to be hard. You don't want it to take a long time. So start telling yourself that it doesn't. Start telling yourself manifesting is so quick and easy for me. I get everything I want every single time. Everything's always working out in my favor. Like my life is perfect. I have the most amazing life. You know, start going there. Instead of going to the worst, go to the positive. And really, really be aware, guys. Be aware because that's what all of this is. It's your awareness of these thoughts and your awareness of, of where you're going with this, what you are doing when you allow outside circumstances and people outside of you to dictate things and to even put any responsibility on those things or those people that's taking power away from you. So we really want to get out of this. I know it's a habit. We want to break it and we're done with it now. We're done with it. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful. I really just, you know, it's like we can learn so much about manifesting and we can be so on top of things and so diligent and so focused, but then not realize the little things here and there that we might be doing that are actually really setting us back and kind of dragging the process out. So that's why I kind of wanted to call attention to this for a minute because like I told you, my client, she was kind of having this issue. And to be honest, I didn't know this. I didn't know this for a long time. Like every session we had, we would talk. She would tell me all the techniques she was doing. She would tell me what kind of thoughts she was having throughout the day. But it just so happened to come up where I was telling her I used to do this thing. I used to say things like, I think I'm the only person who can't manifest things. I can easily get a cup of coffee or I can get the light to be green when I pull up to it, but I have always had a hard time manifesting the big things. That used to be my story. And of course, I've let go of that a long time ago. I've identified with my life is perfect. Everything's always working out for me. No matter what is happening in my reality, I know it's working out in my favor. And when I told her this, she was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I've been doing this. I've totally been doing this. And I honestly did not even notice I was doing it because it's so on autopilot. You know, it's so natural for me to do that I didn't even realize that that's what I was doing. So she has shifted that since then, since our last session, that was um, two weeks ago. And I just got a message from her and she told me that things are shifting a lot faster. She's feeling much more content and she's already seen actually two things start to conform. So she's really happy. And I, I just wanted to kind of put that out there in case it might be something you guys are struggling with. You might not even be aware of it. Okay. You might not be aware, but kind of just take a step back, think about it and see maybe, maybe this is something you guys are doing as well. So I hope that that was helpful for you all. Um, if you need help, you know, any one-on-one -on -one help, I am available for coaching. Um, that information on how to book with me, if you wanted to book a session, will be in the description box below. And yeah, guys, it was so great having you here. And I will see you in the next one.